Welcome back to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. And this one's going to be about TNA. Results from the tapings for Impact for this week. But as usual, I'll uh, give you some news. Uh, matches uh, taped last night in Orlando, Florida for upcoming episodes of TNA Explosion were Mickey James versus Madison Rain, and also Magnus versus Jesse Sorensen. Unknown what, what the results on them two matches were. And uh, also Velma uh, Sky said on her Twitter that uh, she has a women's shirt coming out soon. The only other knockout TNA has released apparel of is Mickey James. Okay, Ric Flair appears as an animated version of himself on the season premiere of the Cleveland show taking place September 25th on the Fox Network. The plot for the episode reads, Cleveland is upset when he finds out that his best friend Peter Griffin came to stool Ben and did not call him to hang out. In an effort to bond with the guys, Cleveland takes them on a camping trip hosted by guest star Ric Flair. TNA legend Hulk Hogan commented on the Hardys and Kurt Angle's problems outside the ring and also whether he feels pressure to get back in the ring or, or not. And you can uh, read more on the article at, at uh, facebook.com slash bustedopen for more info. On whether he feels pressure to get back in the ring, you know what it is, brother. It's not pressure. I want to help. But then when I see myself in the ring, I see myself on a good on a good day, I say, okay, passable. But when I see myself on a bad day, I'm trying to swing a chair and my body hurts so bad, I can't even swing it. I go, man, you shouldn't be in, in, in there. I don't feel pressure, but I, I want to help. But I want to help to, to help. I want to help without destroying the product. I want to help without going on. Oh, oh my God. Hogan really sucks, you know. I would really like to do something. You know, I don't know how to find that sweet spot because I do all my, I do all my vitamins and drink all the fish oil and do all the stuff that you do when you're trying to stay as healthy as you can. And everything is fine, and I feel great today. But tomorrow I can come in here and, and barely be able to get out of out of the chair and, and go. Well, I did. I did. A, I did. Do, uh, did I do different? So I don't know what's going on. He says, "I, I guess it's old age. I'm only 58 years old, but that's what's that's what's got me." <coughs> Excuse me. I can't determine if I say okay today. I'm like like to get in the ring and hit you over the head with with a baseball bat, or pull you pull your leg, or hit you with a pair of knuckles. That's brass knuckles. You know, it's a great thought, but I just don't actually know until the moment how I'm going to feel. It's the weirdest feeling. So I want I want to help. I don't feel pressure to to get in the ring, but sometimes I can get a little sketchy, thinking, "Okay, it's it's going to be a, a good day or a bad day." <coughs> Any comments on guys like like Matt and Jeff Hardy screwing up to see to see these guys step outside their parameters of what is expected in and out of the ring and screw up? You know, I mean, come on. The, this business is a, is a lifeline for me, and for Vince, and for Dixie, and for Eric, and for everybody that loves the business, and RVD, and Cena, and every everybody else. And all of a sudden, you're in your you're in or you're out. You're either all all the way in the business, or you're all the way out. And when you screw up, when you don't care. To me, it shows that you don't have it in your blood. <coughs> and that's what kills me. 
because the party's all over, man. This is the business. And for them to step outside the lines and, and hurt a small upstart company like this, that's going, that's doing a great job. That's got huge opportunities. That's where the hair on the back of my neck raises because it's not cool. Any comments on the legal trouble of uh, Jeff Matt and Kurt Angle? You know, the Jeff Hardy stuff. You know, I, I kind of saw a, a little pattern. And I'm kind of glad it's, it's breaking the cycle. He says he's going to break the cycle. And everything he, he said so far has been true to this point. You know, the proof is in the actions in the long run. The Matt Hardy thing came out of nowhere. Because Matt Hardy, I don't know, know him very well. Every time I saw him and talked to him, he was on, a, on, on the point. He would talk about the show and, and what he was going to do in the ring. After the performance, he would uh, say, did, did you watch? And every time I talked to him, he was cool. And I had no idea he was, he was taking a walk on the wild side. He caught me way off guard. Kurt Angle thing, I don't know what to think of it yet. They said he blew. You know, he wasn't drinking. I can't even begin to go out to go there. I'm not going to put Hulk Hogan's uh, opinion over what the legal system comes up with, but because I even know what we are talking about with Kurt. Uh, if you're not familiar with Kurt Angle's situation, he ha had another cop pull him over, and he was arrested. Okay. And he goes on to say, I don't, I don't know what the facts are yet. I don't know what's going on. You know, I talked with his wife, and she says uh, he's a horrible driver. She's married. I mean, he's married again. Uh, I guess again. The whole time they were married, she wouldn't let let him dri drive the kids. He checks when he drives. He's great in the ring as far as focusing, but his people skills are horrible. He's got two left feet, and it translates into his driving. I'm not making excuses for him, but I want to know if the, what the facts are before I pass any judgment. And that's all he said about that situation. Well, speaking of Kurt Angle, his Warrior movie that featured uh, uh, Kurt as a Russian MMA fighter got off to a rough start at the box office this weekend. Movie earned five thousand $5,607,000 at the box office according to estimates complied by BoxOfficeMojo.com similar to, to uh, Triple H's movie. But Triple H's movie didn't make that much. I wonder why because it was only in 10 theaters across the United States. Go figure. Okay, movie finished third at the box office this weekend. But those are not great box office numbers. The movie continues to get good reviews. 82% of the, the critics po uh, polled by RottenTomatoes.com gave it a thumbs up. I haven't made it out to see the movie yet, but I hope to do, uh, do this sometime in the near future. Which I'm going to see it online. Save my money. And what you've been waiting for is the results for Impact Wrestling this week. Airing 9-15-2011 sent in by Jason Boyer. Match number one. Pope, Devon, Tara, and Miss Tessmacher in a mixed tag def uh, defeated Hernandez and Arquia, Sarita, and Rosita. Match number two, Samoa Joe defeated Matt Morgan. Match number three, Velvet Sky beat Angelina Love. Match number four was Bully Ray and Jerry Lynn beat Mr. Anderson in a handicap match. Bully Ray took out Anderson with a chain. Match number five, Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode beat Kazarian. Kurt Angle booked this match earlier in the show. Roode will now have to face every member of Fortune before Bound for Glory. And they were all in the ring praising Rude earlier in the show when Angle made that announcement. 
And your main event was uh, Sting beating Ric Flair to earn a match with Hulk Hogan at Battle for Glory. Towards the end, Hulk Hogan, Abyss, and Scott Steiner came out. Hogan slipped Flair some brass knuckles, which he used on Sting. But Sting kicks out. Sting eventually lo locked in a Scorpion Deathlock and got the win. Hogan and Sting taught one another to end the show. So, that's your results. I'm going to get on trying to find some uh, detailed results real quick. See if any other site. cold uh, since yesterday. I took some medicine today and we'll feel a little bit better, but the medicine's wearing off right now and my sinuses are starting to drain again. So bear with me. Spoiler on Jeff Hardy's TNA status coming up. Waiting on it to load. Then I'm going to give you the Jeff Hardy status for TNA. As soon as it finishes loading. Results is uh, up, uh, is loaded first. I'll deliver that. Thanks to Eric uh, for the following Impact Wrestling. Spoilers for Monday Night Tapings airing for this Thursday on Spike. Ric Flair opened the show and calls Sting out to the ring. I get a pop up. Okay, it's got sound. That way you can hear me. Okay, back to the... Ric Flair opened the show and called out Sting to the ring. Flair is all about business and says he's all... He says the only way Sting gets Hogan is by taking him out. Sting mocks Flair by, by being Hogan and Eric and Bischoff's puppet and for going to WWE when WCW went under. It's showtime for tonight's main event. Tracy and Karen Jarrett are shown backstage arguing. Karen wants a meeting with all the knockouts to talk about business. Tara Brooke takes Mocker, Brother Devon, and Pope beat Serena, Rosita, Hernandez, and Anarchia. James Storm, AJ Styles, Kazarian, and Daniels come out and introduce Robert Roode. They congratulate Roode for getting the title shot at Bound for Glory and celebrates. Angle comes out and announces that Roode will have to face the his fortune team members leading up to Mount for Glory. Then Velvet Sky beats Angelina Love after Winter accidentally hit Angelina Love with a, with the a title belt. Ric Flair and Sting retaped their opening segment. They were in ring gear and didn't mention WCW or New York in the reference to WWE this time. Security and officials in, ended up getting involved this time and breaking them up. Samoa Joe uh, then defeated Matt Morgan by submission. Robert Roode beat Kazarian by submission. Jerry Lynn and Bully Ray beat Mr. Anderson in a handicap match. 
Sting, Sting beat, beat Ric Flair with a scorpion. Immortal and Mr. Anderson ended up coming down to get involved. Hogan passed Flair to brass knuckles, but he couldn't get the win. Sting ended, ended, ended the show with a celebration and stare down with Hogan. Alright, here's the results for an explosion that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Mickey James defeated Madison Rain. And Magnus defeated J.C. Sorensen after Kid Cash interfered. And that will end, okay, that part of the TNA. And now for the Jeff Hardy update on TNA. Jeff is reportedly backstage at tonight's TNA Impact Wrestling in Orlando, Florida. But last night he was not. And he is scheduled to appear on camera for the episode to air next week, being September 26th. Artie will, who will be returning to the road with TNA at this coming weekend's live event, did not appear at last night's Impact Wrestling tapings that will air this Thursday on Spike. Still no word yet on when Hardy will serve his 10-day jail sentence. And yes, that, and he finally got his jail time, and maybe, was it a year and a half, two years? Two and a half years of probation. Stay tuned for full coverage later on tonight, whenever I get the results for next week's Impact Wrestling.